it was a very long day as more than a dozen Oxford parents, students and teachers delivered emotional victim impact statements. Yeah, the students gave us a closer look at the actual shooting as it unfolded and the impact it's still having on their lives. Local 4's Rod Maloney joins us live with that part of the story. Hey there, Rod. Yeah, good evening, Jamon. You know, it's one of those things where the students who were actually shot at had a chance to talk about their experience and what that has meant to them. And many say their lives are completely changed forever. I was just shot and I thought I was gonna die. As I laid on the floor, I attempted to get up, but my legs weren't moving. I repeatedly hit my legs with my hands like this in attempt to regain any kind of feeling, any kind of feeling, but not a single thing. As horrifying as that was, things turned even worse when she realized her close friend, Hannah St. Juliana, lay dying right next to her. I reached my hand over my head and I realized it was Hannah. I could hear her groaning beside me. Realizing that I wasn't alone, I kept trying to reassure her. Someone will come help us. Don't worry. Just keep breathing. Just please stay with me. I said that to her a thousand times. Hannah's sister, Raina St. Juliana, told the judge her life will never be the same without her sister. Instead of speaking at her wedding, I spoke at her funeral. Instead of fishtailing her hair for a game, I curled her hair in a casket. Doesn't matter if I go to her room to steal her clothes, show her an outfit, or ask for advice. I am met with silence and darkness. Aiden Watson hobbled from Oxford High in the shooter that day with a bullet wound in his leg. A nearby business owner picked him up, drove him to a nearby piano moving company. Aiden couldn't believe what happened and said so in court. I thought it was a senior prank, but by the time I realized, I was staring at Tate Mir and he was shot and he died. I tried to run into my classroom. I didn't know I got shot until my friend told me I was hit. And he said that we needed to get out of there. Another life inextricably altered Riley Friends says her college experience is non-existent. Now when I sit at a school, I feel anxious, checking for all my exits, highly in tune with all movements inside and outside the classroom, flinching at every sound from the walking upstairs to a, pe to a pencil dropping and counting down the minutes until I feel that I can breathe again. Her experience was shared by others who said that they still suffer that kind of a problem. And Kylie Osage, the young woman that you heard in the beginning here, said that she's had back surgery. She had been riding horses her entire life, can't do that anymore. And in fact, many physical activities are beyond her because of the pain that she experiences and all the back surgeries that she's had. The impact of this shooting is immense and it will not soon be forgotten. Reporting live in Pontiac, Rod Malone. So very true. Okay, yeah. Rod, we appreciate your report this evening. And we encourage you to take a look at our coverage on clickondetroit.com where you can view the full video of today's hearing. <coughs> All the coverage is right on the homepage.